Okay, for these problems uh, that have solve and write interval notation, you might see a problem like this where it's being divided or you might see it, some things being multiplied together. Uh, there's two different ways that you can do these kind of problems. The first way is at making a table and the other way is a number line method. So in the answer key, I did both of them with the table method uh, and so I'm also going to show you how you can do the number line method as well. So for this one, whatever, whatever method you use, either table method or, or number line, you want to take all the factors, whether they're multiplied or divided, and you want to set them all equal to zero. This way it'll, you'll get the numbers that go on your number line. So for this we get negative 4, 1, and negative 2 will be those numbers. So. Uh, I'm going to do one problem, this problem here, I'm going to go ahead and do for you with the table method and then for 10b, I'll do the same thing with a number line instead so you can see the two different ways that you can do it. So if you're going to do the, the table method, what you want to do is you're going to create a table with these factors in one of the columns. And any kind of powers that you have associated with these, you have to also include those on the table. That's probably the biggest mistake I see is when students put these down on, on the table they don't include these powers you must include that if you're going to use the table method so what I mean by that is you're going to do x plus 4 squared x minus 1 x plus 2 cubed so we're going to put those in the first column of the table these numbers they're going to go here when I split up the columns you're always going to have one more column beyond the number of numbers you get here. So since I have three numbers here, that means I gotta have four columns total uh, down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and label those, negative four, negative two, and one. Make sure you put those in order from smallest to largest. And then you're gonna pick test numbers in between each of these regions, and you're gonna put them over into here, and you're gonna indicate whether you get a positive or a negative value. So something less than negative 4, I'll use negative 5, and then I can use negative 3, that's a number between negative 2 and negative 4. 0 is another one I'm going to try, and then a number bigger than 2, I'll pick 2. Notice what I'm doing down here, I'm actually circling these test numbers and putting them below the other ones. I'm doing that on purpose because if I, if I didn't do that, then when I'm writing my answer with interval notation, I might accidentally write the answer with negative 5 instead of negative 4. So this way I put them down below and circle them that way there's no confusion when I write my answer is based on these numbers here. So I'm going to take the test number and put it into these expressions and the column and I'm just going to put whether I get a positive or a negative number as a result. So negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. I square it, I get a positive. Now something I know about positive Anytime I have a, uh, a square or an even power, I'm actually always going to get positive numbers regardless of what number I put inside. So any of these numbers uh, that I put in here, whether I get a negative or a positive number, it's always going to end up being squared. So that's why I can go ahead and include that all the way across with plus signs. Now if it's an odd power, I do have to check it because if I take a negative number to an odd power, it'll be negative. So I still have to check these other ones. Negative 5, I'm going to put in here. Negative 5 minus 1, that would be a negative number. Uh, and so let's just do this whole column. Negative 3 minus 1, that's negative. 0 minus 1, negative. And then if I put a 2 in there, 2 minus 1 is positive. So I did that whole, uh, the whole row and we got that. Now let's do the cube. Negative 5 plus 2 is a negative number cubed. I'm still going to get a negative. Negative 3 plus 2, still negative number cubed. I'll get a negative number. 0 plus 2 is positive 2 cubed. This time I'll get a positive number. And then if I put 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 cubed, that's also uh, positive. So what will happen is once you get this complete here, so let me go ahead and erase this to give us some space. Across the, the, the top, what I'm going to do is put the result of multiplying these three signs together. So I have a negative and a negative is positive, times a positive will give me a positive number as a result. So I get a plus on top. This is the same sign configuration, so I get another plus there. When I multiply these, I get a positive and a negative is a negative. Negative times positive is still negative. So 
I get a negative for that column, and these are all plus. That'll give me a, a positive result. So, the way we write our answer is we take a look at what is here. If you have a less than, you're going to look for negatives. If you have a greater than, you're going to look for positives. So this is less than zero, which means I'm going to include only the region that is negative. And that's between negative two and one. So I know that my answer is going to have a negative two and a one in it. Now the question is, do I put a parenthesis or bracket? Now usually if you have a less than or equal to, you're going to have brackets around all your answers. However, if you have a division like we have here, we know that we can't include negative two because that causes division by zero. So I know no matter what, negative two needs to have a parenthesis. Even though this has an equal sign on it, and normally I would have brackets on it, so if I didn't have that factor down below, then I could have brackets for all this. However, negative two makes the bottom zero, and I can't divide by zero, so therefore that's why I'm including a uh, parenthesis on this one. So again, less than, you look for negatives. This is the region that has a negative in it. It's between negative two and a one. And again, typically we would have brackets, but can't divide by zero. So that's why negative two cannot be included. So it doesn't matter what sign I have here. I got to put a parenthesis on that.